I'm excited to do this. Okay, we're going to do 10 different options using components from our box on every finger. This is the January box. These are the ideas they gave. I love this little ombre look. Cute. The rest, so-so at best for me. Um, let's see here. Okay. So now I have a million things out. One hand is going to be um, things I think would look good using the strips. And then uh, one hand is going to be using the strips but also using extras. I have a lot of I have a lot of sets out. First, I thought I'd do real quick London Calling and Old Flame. Not as close as I thought. Close-ish, but not as close. So pretty. Okay, so we've got Old Flame, uh, Make Me Blush, which is the art set, and then I've got both of the accent packs, Hopeless Romantic and I Pink You. Both of those are out. I took out two of the overlays because I'm not willing to spend very many of those. No Holding Black. Uh, we're meant to we. This is an Inkoko, um Japan set. Dazzling Delight. And it's a pink overlay with a soft pink ombre on the side. Which is a gorgeous. Uh, between the lines. This is Leftover Confetti. Yep. Um, Blue de Pest, Brownie Points, Feeling Fabulous, Eat Teal You Drop, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> they're going everywhere. This is an off-brand overlay um, of a slanty lace, and then these are the hashtag exclusive Midnight in Manhattan, December box, split strips. Crap, that was a lot, you guys. That was a lot to tell ya. And I think Willow stole my cuticle nips, so I'm pulling out a new pair that are pink. Alright, I also have out a literal ton of accessories. A tiny bow punch, a heart punch, these fantastic uh, decals, nail decals that nail friend Angela sent me. They're pride decals and they're just stinking adorable. And those are from Deco Miami. This artsy heart punch. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Some kind of mermaid color. Um, a foil that I got from Shannon. This is the hole punch from hell, the 116th. Here is a bigger one, here is a medium, and here is a regular. So those are out of order, but still you get the idea. Um, I mean, is that enough? I also have peel off base coat on because I am not leaving 10 different nails on my fingers, you guys. But also, I pre-shook this, but I'm going to give it a little shake again. Have out my Northern Lights. Uh, and China Glaze. And this China Glaze is called Fairy Dust. I have never since, I mean, even when I got it, I've never shaken this. It has the most fantastic suspension. The thing to know is that it's heavy. It's heavy handed. Where Northern Lights, you can kind of build up how much sparkle you're getting. This is going all in the second you put it on. So here we go. Let's do so here's what we've got that came with um, came with the set. All right, so my first right away, like immediate, when I saw this kind of, because even the pink from that is softer than the soft pink, right? So make me blush like feels like the softest pink but then when you're looking at hopeless romantic the pink that is in that is even softer and then um of course then we've got 
old flame. So that's the order they would go in. So the first thing I thought of when I saw these is what I would do. Um, oh, and you know what I forgot to mention over here is a Tokyo light. I've got that too. There we go. I can spread those out a little better. This is just kind of a little bit of everything. All right, so let's take this. What, buddy? Come on. These cats, I swear, you guys. So I would start with the lightest. This is what this is what I would do. And now keep in mind, you guys. Okay, well, keep in mind, me personally, I wouldn't do 10, ten different fingers. But if that suits you, then please go crazy. Go crazy. My thought when I do these um, 10 different fingers for you guys is that maybe one or two of them you'll like. You know, maybe um, they'll inspire you. One or two of them will inspire you. But if every single one of them inspire you, then please feel free. Oh my God, I've got so much accoutrement days out here that I can't find my head from a hole in the ground. Okay. Now, then I would take the second pink and put it on as a slant. And I do gotta cover a little bit here. I am to a certain degree, obviously, trying to save some, right? I'm not a super duper fan of the accent pack, unless it's a little accent pack of art. I would rather not get my solids in an accent pack. I would rather that these two um, softer pinks, the accents were done in a coconut. I actually would have liked the red, the red, the red, the old, uh, yeah, old flame, make me blush and I pink you if those were in coconut size packs because then you could easily do every finger. And I know those thumbs don't fit everyone, but you could have used then one of the um, hopeless romantic. Okay, so then you've got a very, very, and I mean very soft difference between these two. And then on the next hand, I'm again taking this um, Make Me Blush. And now Make Me Blush, instead of being the top color, is going to be the bottom color. So it's going to be the peak. And don't worry about these little lines and such. I mean, you won't have to, you won't be trying to do a whole mani out of just using a couple strips out of each pack. So I think you'll be okay um, if this is something you choose to do. I'm just trying to make sure that just a few strips out of everything can do both hands so that I don't fully deplete my selection, right? Then, taking this guy, I pink you. And he's going to be the top part of the slant. And then my down and dirty cleanup. And then, <coughs> and 
you guys see where I'm going with this? My middle finger then would be this one with the red on top. Does that make sense? And then I would do, I would probably do four fingers of that, but then I would do an art finger. But I don't want to do that whole hand like this because I want to give you guys some ideas of like, you know, what else you can do. So another thing I think would be fantastic. And I'm going to add this to my ring and then I'm going to go back to my pinky and finish that because I think there needs to be more on it. So on that ring finger where I did the double, I would add a third that is a little pop of the art. Ooh, these babies are going to be sharp. Fresh out of the pack. So where are you guys sitting on the boxes right now? There we go. That's cute. Okay. And then over here, I would want this to have a pop of something. Um, maybe the deep red. I'm trying on this hand, I'm trying to only use these. This hand, I would do what I would actually do. So, so one of the biggest downsides of the box for me is that I feel like people get it and they forget that they have, you know, 10, 20, 400, 600 other sets that they can mix with them. And they automatically put these together and then every single Manny that gets posted, no matter how you've rearranged these nails, like the strips, no matter what you've done to them, they all look the same. Doesn't matter what you did to them. They just all look the same. So for me, you've really got to um, split things off at least a bit. That helps a ton, like a super ton. I didn't get it down as far as I wanted, but it's okay. Okay, so now... Um, 180 million percent that any cream I use is almost always getting a glitter topper. So for the pinky, I think I would go heavy because these colors are so soft. So that's why I pulled China Glaze out. And let me get it on here. Okay, now that shit is stunning. All right, one sec, guys. Because I know you're going to be shocked by this, but I painted half my finger. No, you've never seen me do that before. But now this will rock your world compared to what it was. Beautiful. A great layer of hollow sparkle, the very soft pink, the bold red to pop it, and the other pink. And now this one with the three patterns, I wouldn't go with that one because I don't want to, I don't want to lose that soft pattern at the end. For this one, two things. You could either go with a plumper, which is always good, but still I would throw uh, Northern Lights on it. So you're still going to get hollow, but you're going to get a softer amount of it. See that difference? Sorry if I bumped you there, guys. Beautiful. Both of them beautiful. A little soft for Stacy. <laughs> a little bit soft for Stacy, but still pretty. Okay. Let's do. All right. Now, I'm wondering. Yeah, I am going to do that. So 
can take those two solids. I don't know if I want to use that soft one. I don't think I do. I think I want to use the bolder red. Okay. So, sorry you guys. I have ideas, but I also wanted to be able to like look at stuff as I went. I don't think I'll use, I don't think I will need too many strips on this one. Three reds, probably three of this um, make me blush, and probably three of I pink you. Okay, so back to where I was saying. How are you sitting on your readings? So, um, for me personally, I'm giving this one a solid six. And then I wish I would have rated last month's, dang it, and I didn't. But last month's compared to this month's, I would give last month a seven. Uh, the only thing holding back last month's from a higher score is the Midnight in Manhattan. Doesn't matter, it's done, it's over with. But. Had they sprinkled a glitter on that, I probably would have gave that a 10 out of 10. If they would have turned Midnight into Manhattan, Midnight in Manhattan into like a, you know, some such of under the stars something or another, you know what I mean? Like gave it a sparkle, would have been totally different for me. It would have been a 10 out of 10 because the overlay, honestly, I haven't seen it on something that I don't think it looks amazing. Um the glitter is like bonkers good I already knew like going into this um, even though I had not seen spoilers you guys I already had heard that the buy sell trade groups were full of them so I already knew they didn't do something right because I don't believe that um, I don't believe people are paying the $30 for the box only to sell it for $25. Like, that's what it comes down to for me. I just don't think it's, I don't think that's how it's happening, you know? And why do I think people are selling this one? Because it is all exclusive sets, right? I would say the majority, let's say 90% of Color Street users weren't happy there was absolutely zero glitter. Like, I don't care if all the solids are, you know, um, cream colors, but then give us a coconut set that is um, a nice glitter overlay that mixes these colors or maybe, like, just brings in some silver or something, you know, brings in a little off color of some sort. Anyway doesn't matter now but I do think that's why people are not happy uh, I would rather hope that in February's box we don't get another freaking file like I don't know the obsession with the file but and if you're sending us files then why are you also sending us them stupid throwaway files that we get in every pack and most people have 78 million of them you know no, Tardy, you're not going outside, buddy. So, there's my thoughts on it, you guys. I think all the colors are pretty. I just think as is, it's not making a very um, impressive Manny without adding, like, a glitter top coat to it, a glitter overlay to it another like some kind of pop of color to it like something right like I just feel like it needs something a little too monotone on the flip side though I am glad to see that every color in this box matches because those that gold cut up strip you guys of last month it didn't match the the sets for anything it, they look horrible together it's like glaringly 
clashing. <laughs> the, the glitter and the gold strips are not friends. So I'm glad to see that these at least all go together if you want them to go together. And I know some people are all are completely uh, content with creams and that's good. I mean, that's the point, right? Like, I think it's going to be hard pressed for there ever to be a month where everybody who gets the box says yay. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just, I mean, that's not realistic. And that's not, it's not what sub boxes are, you know? You're taking away your choice. You no longer have a choice of what you're getting for your money. Uh, you're taking away your choice in order to get a great value. Do I still think this was a great value? I think it was an okay value. A set of coconut, if one of these small accent packs would have been changed into a coconut size set, then yes. Then I would say yes, that I thought it was a great value. As it sits right now, no, I think it's about an on on par value for what you would normally be doing. So, um, I think it's a bummer that you know, as they're dipping more into colored overlays, that they that they put this in the box. I think it's a bummer that this wasn't either an accent or a full pack that could be purchased by the masses but I don't know there's something with those colored overlays that they're just holding back on you know we got the two that went with the French tip sets at Christmas and and that was that okay what color am I on this one so so yeah I mean I think it's it was it was okay, but it didn't wow me. And that's okay. I know it did wow some people. I think it did. I know Melissa from Melissa's Manny's and more. She loved it. She loves a cream strip. And I don't dislike the cream strip. I just think Every month there's this weird waffle back and forth. And what do you mean by that, Stacy? By the way, hi you guys. My name is Stacy. I am not a stylist. I am just a lover of Color Street. Just a Color Street addict. It is what it is. Um, so what I mean by this waffle back and forth is that the December box we said we don't want our strips cut up. And we were told that even though we cut our strips, people that are newer to Color Street, you know, they don't have that yet. This box is for the new people, not the people that are already artsy. And then um, this month, they send all creams. And I think you'd be hard pressed to find a stylist that says she tells somebody new to Color Street to start with creams. Most stylists, you know, not only do they not suggest creams, they don't suggest French tips, etc., etc. Um, they're only sending out like Tokyo Light samples because they know that creams can be tricky. So it's just a, it's just a weird little. We're a little mix, if you're asking me. All right. So I used my little red heart there to go under my braid that will definitely need some filing. But for now, it's good. I do have my heat mat on, you guys, because I knew I was going to have so many strips out. Okay. This is gorgeous. If you hear the door banging, it's tartar. He wants to go out and play, and he's not getting to. All right, so far I'm in for this hardcore. I'm in for this with that red pop. I'm not in for this. It's not enough contrast for me. I, I mean, I will do a full-on, like, 
um, monotone, kind of neutral situation and love it. Um, but I gotta be in the right mood for it. Girl, I'm going to say it on every nail. So if you're disagreeing with me, get over it right now. Because I'm going to tell you that glitter makes this better on every finger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. In the hollow, I just painted on my side of my finger. That made my finger better. I got a little bit of that clear overlay up there. Super cute. Okay. Now, pointer. Am I going to do those two? You going to do those two, Stacy? Yeah, I think I am. And these two. I am somewhat trying to save these bits that I know are big enough I don't know if you see my garbage <laughs> like if I think they're big enough to be used somewhere else I'll save them just in case and I don't exactly have a use for them in my head but you know just in case that way I don't have to dig in the garbage because girl I dig in the garbage all the time and then this one well I might as well just use this guy yeah because that's the color I'm going with Maybe. All right. Mm. Nice and sticky. Oh my gourds might even be too sticky no there's no such thing well there is there is sticky when they get to that sticky point where they're like melty that is too sticky but I can't complain about too sticky okay and then this one let's do this baby I know this is gonna be a little bit not quite fitting my finger but we'll make it work Okay, I know somebody's going to have something to say probably, but I think these hearts could have been a lot closer together. The way they land on your finger is a little, they're a little sparse in the middle and I'll show you here up close as soon as I get that. I think they could have been a little heavier handed on the heart because that's a half strip so a half strip and I get one two three four showing not enough for me <laughs> more hearts more hearts okay let's do this I wonder, you know what, like, even if they didn't go, um, like, full glitter strip, right? Like, if they didn't go full glitter or full shimmer, um, they have some really, really good, um, uh, in Coco Japan strips where it's got, um, you know, it's an overlay, but it has, like, the sparsest hollow glitter in it. 
that would have been so good with uh, like that one to do the sparsest, you know, hollow, just tiny silver hollow specks, right? Would have been cute. Okay, next. I think I can use this on my poor broken thumb. All right, you guys. So for this one to work for you, you're going to need a punch, okay? But it's only a heart punch. They're easy peasy to come by. Just hit um, Amazon and search mini craft punch. And you'll get one of these little babes. All right, let's see if we can get this roughly right. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to do it. I feel like I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> I'm scared. Are you guys scared? Okay, like this. And then I want to put... I guess, okay, this little bit might be a little more... I don't want to say advanced. But this might be a little more than most people would want to do. But if it works, you guys, I think it's going to be super cute, okay? So you might want to try it. And then I need just a little touch of the pink guy here. And that's just the, you know, the softer pink. Okay. Now let's, whoop. Flip it over so I can get it in the right spot, hopefully. Heart's been punched. Woo! Okay, here we go. Let's see if we did it or if we're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna hopefully make a window oh <laughs> come on come on come on did you just gasp in delight did you say oh my gourds Stacy stop being brilliant okay now let's clean this edge up because we got about three layers going Ombre Heart Window is the name of this. <laughs> if it needed a name, it's named Ombre Heart Window. Did you gasp in delight? If you have really good, like, um, scissor skills I mean they'd have to be pretty good or you'd probably waste at least a couple strips but you could fold your strip in half and just cut a heart out you guys you don't have to have a heart punch I just find you know if I can have a punch for it it's going to be a cleaner cut that looks better hands down Okay, now let me clean the edge up. The edge and the tips. Think how good that look on my nice big long nail. Sadly, it's not where it's at. Okay. Okay. I also have a little on my cuticle, but it's okay. It's okay, you guys. Um, and the tip where it's a little wrinkly there will be smoothed in one second. And this one, I'm using OPI Plumpa. And 
And all that's going to do is make it so I don't really feel those um, ridges, you know, going from one color to the other. You can see I've still got it over past my short nail, but I'll clean it up. Um, and it's going to kind of fill in my little window that I made. Ombre heart window. Hashtag. Copyright. Ombre heart window. Do it. Okay. There you go. There's that. And I know this poor nail looks rough right now, but don't worry. I'll help him later. He's just not got much to him. So, beautiful, right? Now, let's make this crap show really shine. Okay. The immediate, when I took this out, and you guys know because you were there to see it, I said, this is feeling fabulous but with hearts and so it is okay so I want to play these two together which finger is it that one it's gonna be fun which finger do I want this for I think I can do it on the middle you know because at Halloween time it's always fun to do a little um, Glam Halloween, pink Halloween, and I think I might want to put it on my pointer. And this is, you know, this is glow in the dark. If you don't, you do now. It is glow in the dark. So you have a little glow in the dark. Valentine. Or if you saved it for Halloween, you have a little glow in the dark with pink swirly bits going. I think I'm going to be hard pressed to get much for the hearts to show unless they're right on the bottom. They're like in that range that is just out of the reach of my fingers without me like cutting the strip way down, which is fine, but you know, it's one of them things. Sorry, I'm probably off camera, but I got to clean up my edges. Like, I know that in um, Color Street's head, like, that you're using this full strip. And I understand that. But, like, when you put the art way out here, it doesn't get to be a centerpiece for most people. Like, most people don't have super super long nails so why not spread the art through the whole thing like don't just make it bottom or top kind of deal okay and then this one I want this guy and I may as well do my thumb because I've already done my other thumb come on now Come on, buddy, you can do it. Crap, now it's stuck on there. I don't want it stuck on there yet. Oh, lordy. Okay. You dirty rotten. I know I don't got that very even. 
Well, it doesn't help that I didn't cut my strip very even. There we go. Oh, this poor guy's getting all beat up. Let me try to clean him up real quick. I don't want him to get all beat up. He's so cute. Where's my pusher? Please hold. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you can lay down. Tartar's getting bossy with me, you guys his job. There we go. I should have just saved that poor thumb to do last, but it's okay. He's just a sad little mini baby. <laughs> there we go. Okay, where are we at? Oh yeah, we're getting rid of that bit that's hanging over. I mean, unless you guys want a new trend where we work off our fingers. Hashtag hate your whole finger. There we go. Cute. Okay. Now, let's do our thumb over here because I'm excited to do it. Obviously, I have more nails out than I'm going to use, you guys. But I had like a whole bunch of ideas, so I just took out a bunch of stuff. All right, I cut off just a hair on the bottom here to square up my nail bed because, or to square up my strip because my nail beds are very square on my thumbs. Oh, that's gorgeous on a full finger. I love red on me. Whoop. It's a full finger of gorgeousness. Okay, now back off, buddy. Come on, get off me. Okay, there we go. Let's just wrap it around there for now. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Went on like a butter. And then I want this guy. These are from, I think you can find them on, um, what's it called? What's it called? Dang it. Um, color creation. Or maybe even EV2 because it's all the same, you know. Or if you go looking on, um, like, uh, Etsy, you can search black lace overlay nail wrap and you'll find a ton. There's a million variations of it is my point, you guys. But I think it's going to be good just right here. Yeah, it is just as expected okay do not use your other poor thumb you just got it looking decent do not torture it mm -hmm. Ugh, these are the gassy ones <laughs> then why did you put it to your whole nose stacy you already knew it was gonna stink i don't know because every time it's like i gotta prove it to myself that they still stink and they might stink you guys but they got some freaking stunning overlays that we don't have or if you want to get anything like it is gonna cost you a bucket load of money and so I will deal with it There we go. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a sexy Valentine's Day nail, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. And that I would leave with that overlay on it. No glitter. Um, maybe an OPI pumper later, but uh, I'm not heck bent on having it. Hang on, I got garbage stuck to my finger. There we go. Okay, middle finger. Let's do this. I want to use... Let's go... Let's go with the softer pink. Now I'm going to stuff all this garbage in there. And then I'm going to regret it because I'll be trying to pick out a little teeny cut strip. I can already see it coming. One sec. What a mess, you guys. Ooh, this little... What? Little ombre heart. Oh, look. Isn't that cute? You could use that, too, if you wanted, like, a little decal. Okay, let's go. I feel like this is gonna be one of my favorites. Got a teeny, like this pink almost just blends a little right in with my skin. This one, I want this. And I think I can go, would it be cutting it too close? No, maybe not. Maybe if we go back at this side. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna nip that to make like basically a hard edge, you know? And then, oh God, they get some gorgeous stuff over there, you guys. Because I want to make the ombre going up my finger instead of side to side. I am not as big of a fan of the side to side ombre as I am the um, bottom to the top. So, all right, now a little bit of clean up. All right, off screen a second, probably because I don't want to cut my whole finger off with these shiny new nips. All right. Well, almost. There we go. Okay, this is going to need some end cleanup too, but it's going to wait. Now, I want to do teeny bit off the side there. And then need, I took out 
two of these for a reason. I'm leaving the um, plastic on it to hopefully help me keep it steady and be able to line stuff up better. Okay. E, that's cute. Now just wait, cause it's gonna get better. Well, if I can line it up worth the crap, we'll see. Okay. Everybody, hold your breath. Whoo, we made it. Ooh, doggies. Nobody move. Look at that sealed down. Oh my god. I love it. Okay. I made a little baby wonky pinstripes. Now I gotta clean some edges though. Oh my gosh. Oh I love it. Do you see it? How it's like burp, 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 burp. Yeah. Yeah. A little heat on the tips and some bottom cleanup. I think I got about a half a strip of that pink on my finger. Okay, now, oh my gosh, okay, okay, what are you liking so far? That's got a wrinkle in it. Let me fix it. Oh my gosh, okay, we're on the last one, you guys. What am I gonna do? There, that little guy set up nice now. Oh, uh, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? And I am gonna put all these spare strips just like in one package together. So they won't go to waste if you were worried about that. One of these I took, there it is. Okay, that and that, that and that, these we're done with, these we're done with. Okay, what are we going to do? I want to bring, um, I think, oh crap, I know this one would look so cute, because I wanted to do this leftover confetti white with gold and silver with the red overlay over it that would be adorable and so simple but I really want to bring in some teal I think also I haven't done a full finger of the art yet okay I don't know super torn you guys let's try and then I'm gonna give you a list of other things I thought would be cute to do that I didn't wind up doing I did get a lot of cute ideas with this just because it's you know I mean it's just a solid pink so it's easy to it's a it's a year around box well they all have been so far really okay cute dang I really wanted to do something with the well, I know what I can do. I'm just going to put all these together for one. I know what I can do. Hold the presses. D 
decisions. There's decisions to be made. Okay. Shoot. I didn't use my bow. Ooh, I could use that there, though. That would be... Ooh, maybe I could put it here and jazz that up a bit. But then I'm breaking my rules and putting stuff on the other hand. But that's okay. If I made the rules, I can break the rules. There, That's part of the rules. A little shiny bow. And gourds. I kind of want him right up there. At the base of that braided tip. Oh god, that's adorable. Okay. And I also wanted to use Love is Love like this on my slant. But I don't want to waste the decal since I'm not going to leave these on. So I'm not going to use any of these. At least not on this set. Okay, so let's do... Let's go the extra mile on some of these, you guys. Let's take a Budapest Art Heart. Artsy Heartsy. Hang on. Cute, huh? I mean, and it's Budapest. Oh, that's cute up there off center. Yeah. Good call. Okay, this I love. This I love. Okay. I mean, and I've got that. I just don't have anywhere to put it. Like, I could have put this, you know, somewhere. I just don't have anywhere for a double layer. Ooh, it could actually go over that. See, now these, a lot of these have gone too far, but also I feel like I've given you a bucket load of ideas. And that's kind of the point of this video, you guys. It might actually look kind of cute there. Yeah, it does. Okay. Whatever, I'm not mad. Okay. And then, this is the only one that stayed. This by itself is a little... Um... Boring, I guess is the word. Alright. Um, favorite on this hand. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Not that one. On this hand... Ooh, love this. Freaking want to marry that. Uh, these two could go. I like these three. Alright. You guys, let me know what you think of everything. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I'm going to do, like, top coats on everything before I take pictures. I'm going to stack up all these nails and put them in a package and heat seal them and they will be fine to use as like a fun little bit of accents whenever and oh my god we didn't do our foil either I took out too many options I need 20 fingers okay there you go hope it helps guys talk to you soon